Cemeteries can hold connections to local history dating back hundreds of years. Naperville News 17's Blaine Irwin took a walk through the Naperville Cemetery with genealogist Jeffrey Bachman to learn more. The Naperville Cemetery was established in 1842, just 11 years after the founding of the village itself. It has seen most of the city's history, and some of Naperville's most prominent figures rest here now. A lot of places have huge monuments to founders of towns, but you almost have to walk around and stumble into Joe here. Um, just behind him is uh, Mr. Hobson, who had a settlement, another mill down by Hobson Road that's named after him. While the recognizable names provide obvious connections to Naperville's history, the cemetery has clues to details and personalities that have mostly been forgotten by the passage of time like Norman Lent. He was a blacksmith from about 1833, and his shop was at the corner of Webster and High Street, which is now Aurora. So the City Hall parking lot is right uh, where his shop used to be. And the newspaper talked about his 50th wedding anniversary and said that he was hard at work out at his anvil. So 4th of July, 50th anniversary, and he'd prefer to work than be social. So uh, told a little bit about him. And cemeteries are important for those who are researching their family's history. I stood at the grave of a uh, seventh great grandfather 300 years after he'd passed away. And there's something about it. I've seen pictures, but being there and being able to kind of talk to him and thank them for leaving what records they did. If you're interested in doing this kinds of research for your own family, Jeff recommends starting with what you know, your parents, your grandparents, and then you go from there. We'll see a million tombstones today and everyone has a birth and death date with a dash in between and we'd like to know what some of them did with your dash and you're probably the best one to record what you did with your dash as well. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin. The Naperville Cemetery has burial records dating all the way back to the early 1800s, available for anyone looking to learn a little bit about local or family history.